My name is Specialist Nicholas Lake, and I was engaged to PV2 Nicole Gambala. We used to love, laugh, and just enjoy every minute of our time we had together. Nicole and I were both stationed here at Fort Leonard Wood. We'd have, we'd do all sorts of just what normal couples do. It didn't matter that we were in the military or not. We'd love to have our weekends off, all our downtime, and spend as much time as we could together. We had a long future ahead of us. We talked about all the goals we had wanted to achieve in both our military and even longer term in our civilian life. And one day starting a family together. I thought I would share the rest of my life with Nicole and that was before April 26, 2009. Nicole and I were heading to my friend's house to go do some horseback riding like we had done in the past. We were on Highway 95 South just outside of Lynchburg, Missouri. When Nicole's vehicle hit some gravel on the road, and she overcorrected and we lost control. During the accident, my side of the vehicle struck a tree. Nicole was killed instantaneously due to the fact that her seatbelt was not properly secured. My seatbelt was properly secured and that's why I'm here today. Though I did suffer quite a few injuries, but the emotional loss and the mental loss of having to deal with Nicole gone every day is far greater than the physical pain I've endured. I know for a fact if Nicole's seatbelt had been properly fixed in, she would be here today and I would not have to feel the pain that me and her family goes through every day. The sadness in losing Nicole is unlike anything I've ever experienced. While deployed, I lost a friend of mine, but you expect that. You don't expect driving out on a Sunday in the instant, in a second's time, to lose the one you love and you had set so many goals and so many life achievements you wanted to achieve together. The sadness myself and her family has faced is something that can be avoided. It only takes a second to have an accident, and it only takes a second to make sure your seatbelt is properly secured. The fact is, seatbelts do save lives. I'm here today right now. I know they work, and I know if Nicole had had hers on, she'd be here today, and there would be no need for me to do this interview. I urge you to please, please, whenever you go out, whether it be in a convoy or just going out to have a good time with your friends, make sure your seatbelt's physically secured so you don't have to endure what myself and Nicole's family has gone through. Thank you.